Y'all, please, 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 please listen to the entirety of this video. Please. Like, if you don't have time to listen to it right now, please just wait to watch it and then come back. This is so, so important. Like, I'm not trying to do one of those little clickbait things. Like, no, this is important. This is very, very, very important. If it wasn't important, I would not say it. Like, I'm begging you. Please do not watch this video until you can until you can watch the whole thing through. So if that's you, I'll see you later. I love you. Please come back to see it. For those of us that, that have the time, I just want to make this clear again because maybe some people did not listen. Just being being very honest with love. Some people did not listen in the first video. And the person that made the comment, um, I, I, I can discern that they weren't being rude. They were very humble. God, that's why discernment is so important. They weren't being rude. Something that God showed me, though, was that because there might be others that were thinking the same thing, but may not leave a comment. And I'm thankful. Thank you for leaving that comment because, you know, we're helpers one to another. So if I was out of order in any way, I would definitely want to know. I just want to make this clear, though. I did not get up here in my bonnet and my my robe because I wanted to. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was disobedient at first. When God immediately woke me up around five something, I did not immediately make the decision. Okay, look, God, I'm gonna get up here with this bonnet and these um, and this robe on. I didn't say yes at first. I was hesitant, which was basically a no. I thought about what I thought about. It. I was like, mm, I don't, I do not want to get up here with this bonnet and this and this robe on. But God was letting me know that I needed to make that video right then and there. It wasn't something that I could put off and. God will give you discernment to know when it's like, you just have to make that instant decision. And I didn't at first. At first I, I lollygagged, I was dragging my feet and I even got some crust out of my eyes. But I was like, Lord, I can't even get up here with the crust in my eyes. But that's not what he told me to do. So I was being disobedient. So I had to repent. I had to repent because I did not do what God told me to do. I did not immediately as soon as he told me, you have to get up here and say this right now, I did not just get my phone or go get my phone because it was plugged up and then um, start the video. I didn't. I looked around for a little bit. I contemplated and I was just like, man, I do not want to get up here with this bonnet and this this robe on. And then I started looking at my phone, at the camera, trying to get the little crust out of my eyes. Y'all should have been able to see the crust in my eyes. Now, I know some people are going to say, God didn't tell you to do that. Um, you're supposed to do things decent and in order. Yes. But guess what? We have some scriptures of, where, of when God told people to do stuff that made them look even crazier than what I looked. Let's look at, um, and before I move on, there are a lot of things. And that's a part of surrender. This week we've been talking about surrender. Is knowing when God is telling you to make that instant decision and you're not contemplating. Sometimes I get frustrated with my kids because they um my kids from school i can tell them to ask them to do something i try to ask i try not to be demanding even as the even as the adult in the situation i try not to be demanding um and when i ask them to do something it could be like three times and then they may you know lollygag drag their feet just like i did with god this morning and that's not okay just like it's not okay for them to do it to me, it's not okay for me to do it to God. And there have been many things that I've had to, have I perfected surrender? No, because this morning showed me that I have not perfected surrender. Because if if surrender had been perfected through me, then I would have just pressed it no matter what. I wouldn't have tried to get the boogers out of my eyes. Maybe I would not have even explained myself. But that's just something I think God has given me. I like to explain things. Sometimes it's... It can be a bit much, but I like to explain things. I like to have a clean slate. That way you and I can have an understanding and me and God can have an understanding, which he already understands, but I just like to explain things. So these are some things that I have had to surrender in that if God would not have told me to do it, I probably wouldn't have did it. Point A, this morning, getting up here with that bonnet and those, um, the, the robe, I didn't even have time to even tell God like, I don't want to do it, but my actions told him. Another thing is starting YouTube. I didn't want to start YouTube 
If God did not tell me to be on YouTube, I would not be on YouTube. You know, some people may think that it's easy to be on YouTube because so many people are up here. But I believe that a lot of people, those that God is using, will tell you the same thing. If it wasn't for God, they wouldn't be up here. Because it's not easy. It's not easy sharing the things that God tells you to share. You know, you have to deal with people's comments and just different things. And it's not all, always easy to make these these videos. You know, you may see on, on the outside looking in, you may say like, oh, they're just, you know, they do this. But no, it's God working through me. But without God, I would not be up here. You know, it's just, you just have to be obedient. Another thing is going back to school. Going back to school is not something we're going to get into the scriptures, but I'm just trying to give y'all examples of things that I've had to surrender when God told me to do it, just like this morning. And people may not understand that, you know, some people may not understand. Even after this video, somebody might, might not even watch this video um, all the way through and still may not get the full understanding or revelation that God is speaking to us school i would not i remember when i graduated from undergrad i was like i'm not going back to school i'm not going back to school never say never <laughs> because i ate those words because god told me to go back to school i would have i remember when i was probably in the second grade i wanted to be a teacher but then i didn't want to be a teacher anymore but here it is 2021 or really it had it first started in 2019 god told me to go into education so you have to be able to like this, like we don't just, it's not a game. We don't just say like, oh yes, God, I surrender. Like, okay, there's going to be things you have to surrender. Your time, what you thought you were going to do around a certain age, the career. Another thing is moving. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought I just moved to California just because I wanted to No, And I even remember saying probably maybe years ago, I don't know, maybe when I was in high school that I never wanted to live in California like that was just never a place I wanted to live in so these are and, and that's how I knew it was God because that just was not my desire but when your desire is to please God you'll be like you know what Lord forget what my plan was what do you want me to do and, and you won't even do it like complaining you'll do it willingly with a loving heart so like I said I was disobedient this morning I was supposed to get up here with my robe and my bonnet on but I took my time like it even if it take it took me a minute like maybe literally like a minute and a half but it still wasn't went as soon as God told me to but I thank him for his mercy and another thing that God showed me that again this is not an attack on the sister I think it's the sister that left the comment she said it in love I know she wasn't being rude and even if she was being rude I would still say this in love because sometimes we just don't have to understand it but I see this not talking about her. I see this a lot in people's comments, though. People will make comments that God didn't lead them to make. I'm not saying that this is the case for her, but people will leave comments that God didn't t tell them to make. They're in the flesh, and um, we have to be careful with that because you have to remember that it's especially when God is really using somebody. And I'm not just talking about me. I'm just talking about those that God has given this platform of YouTube in general. You have to be careful of what you're saying to people because you have to remember that it's God using them. So it's kind of like you're not going against them. Well, not kind of like you're not going against them. You are going against God. And I don't care what kind of fighter you are. You don't want to go against God. And we have to be careful too. Again, not talking about the sister. I have to say this because discernment and you know, some people just, you just have to say it. And um, you want to be careful of not being used by the enemy to come up against the things of God. And even as people of God, we can be used by the enemy to come up against the things of God. Perfect example, Judas, when he was, remember the lady, um, Mary, when she, it wasn't Mary, it was the lady that gave the, um, it was Mary when she she gave her oil. I think it was Mary. She gave her oil and don't quote me on that. She gave her oil. Um, and I think she I can't remember. If she anointed Jesus with it, but it was something about the oil. And Judas was like, you know, you should have given this to the poor or something like that. Some, I think y'all know what story I'm talking about. And. What she was doing was something that was good. People might have thought it was weird. People might have thought like, okay, she's wasting 
and they weren't able to understand the power behind that they weren't able to understand that the move of god was supporting what she was doing just like the move of god was supporting what well, the move of god was what i did this morning because he told me to do it and then if you actually watch the pool video we would be able to see that and I, y'all i'm totally talking in love you we would have been able to see that and i didn't even know he was going to do this god just told me to get up i didn't have time to prepare no scriptures he just told me to get up and he just flowed through me and he used my appearance which i didn't know he was going to do to illustrate how when jesus comes back we're not going to be able to get ready it's just going to be so quick and not even just when jesus comes back at the end of our life i could die today you know am i ready so all that helps paint a picture of surrender and the urgency of being ready at any moment to get up out of here another um i want to read isaiah chapter 20. there was a prophet that walked around naked let's see in the year that tartan came into ashdod when sargon the king of assyria sent him and fought against ashdod and ashdod and took it at the same time spake the lord by isaiah, by isaiah the son of amaz saying go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins and put off thy shoe from thy foot and he did so walking naked and barefoot and the lord said like as my servant isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon egypt and upon ethiopia so shall the king of assyria lead away the egyptians prisoners and the, and the ethiopians captives young and old naked and barefoot even with their buttocks uncovered to the shame of egypt now we see that god used something that was foolish to the world to confound the wise he used a prophet walking around naked to illustrate god speaks to us through this way still we want to look at it in the new testament too but the old testament is still important um he used a naked prophet isaiah to create an illustration of what was going to happen to the egyptians so God can use a person's appearance to, God can use whatever he wants. Like, like, let's just be honest. God can use whatever he wants to minister to us about a thing. Again, let me make this clear. I did not get up here because like, oh, I just was lazy and I did not feel like um, getting dressed. I like getting dressed, you know, like it, it, it had nothing to do with that. God literally told me to do that. And then not known to me until the moment came he used it as an illustration and then he gave me a scripture to back it up like as i was thinking about it um like after the video once i saw the comments because i figured and y'all we have to we have please 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 before commenting on someone's video especially when it's something that you may have a question about or you feel uneasy about something that somebody's doing take it to god first take it to god first we are just sitting here as messengers but god is speaking through us so you take it to god and before you comment, please make sure you listen to the full video because maybe the thing that you're commenting about is something that was addressed. I can tell that, and I don't know if she did, but maybe the sister did not listen to the full video because I made it clear that I got up here. I don't know, maybe, maybe, look, some, I like to look within myself and say, Lord, well, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I need to go back in the video to make sure I said that, but I think I did say that God told me, and I'm not being condescending. I'm just really being self-reflective because, you know, I'm not holier than thou. I'm not better than anybody. I make mistakes too. So please don't look at me as anything. Look at Jesus. It's all about, I love to say this, it's all about Jesus, not Jamisa. I'm just a messenger. Like, I'm nobody great. It's all about God. It's him. Like, he's the one that's great. He gives me what to say. Now let's look at John the Baptist because I know people was looking at John like, all right, <laughs> Matthew 3 and 4. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins. His meat was locust and wild honey. And I'm pretty sure if somebody saw John today, they'd be like, ain't no way God talking to him. Ain't no way he's preparing the way for the Lord. Like, but we don't want to allow our religious mindset to cause us to miss out on the move of God just because of the way we see things. So... I pray that this video really cleared up things that people may have about that video, about why I came up here with my bonnet and my robe. I did not want to do that. That was very uncomfortable for me. That was very uncomfortable. I mean, sometimes even when I'm dressed, I may not be on the camera because God will lead me to, 
And then sometimes, you know, it may just be because, like, I don't want to be on camera. But God lets me know when I'm supposed to be on camera and when I'm not. And I almost tried to do that today. I was like, well, God. Yeah, I try to negotiate with him. But some, just like with kids, there are things that are like, like in my class, one new rule that I made a few weeks ago was that you cannot open the door for anybody, even if it's another teacher that you know. Only Mr. Misa can open the door. And that's for safety. That's for safety. They may not really fully understand, but they talk to me about it. And they're like, yep, we can't open the door. Only Mr. Misa. That, like, there's things that are just non-negotiable. There's things that we can compromise on. Like, okay, what do y'all want to go outside today? What do y'all want to play outside? Do y'all want to paint or do y'all want to use markers? Most of the time they're going to want to paint. But there are some things that are just non-negotiable. Just like this morning, it was not negotiable for me to be able to just not be off camera. And I'm thankful it's because of God's mercy that he allowed me to be obedient because I wasn't at first. And I wasn't going to do it. Again, that goes back to our free will. Because I did not do what he I didn't do it as soon as he told me to do it. So that's disobedient. And we can we can say, well, you know, I kind of did what God told me to do. No, you're either disobedient or this or obedient. You're either hot or cold. There's no lukewarm. Well, there is lukewarm and he doesn't want us to be lukewarm. So I pray that this video really cleared up some things and will help us to receive what God is saying through other people. Remember, you're not receiving that person, which I hope we're not doing that. You're receiving what God is saying through them. And if you feel kind of uh, about it, take it to God in prayer. Take it to God in prayer. I love y'all. I do. We just have to listen. We have to listen. We have to listen. Please don't go comment on people's videos. Um, and it's not even my video. It's what God is. God's video. It's God's YouTube channel. I don't even like to say my YouTube channel. I like to say the YouTube channel because it's not mine. Again, I would not be up here if God didn't tell me to be up here. You know, because it's not easy being up here. It's not easy. So I don't want to be the dead horse. I just, I pray that we really all can be humbled by this experience. Because I messed up this morning too. I got the boogers out my eyes. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to do it as soon as possible. Just like w with kids, you know, you ask them to do something. You want them to do it right then. You don't want them to um, finish doing what they're doing and then stop. No. Same thing with God. He didn't want me to contemplate like, man... Or start with, no, I was supposed to get up, hop up, go get that phone. So I am still being pruned by God. So I love y'all. I pray you have a blessed day. Please take this word in love and any other word. God is definitely moving and he's in control.